Greetings and welcome to Stronghold Definitive Edition. I'm Catherine of Sky, and a huge, huge thank you to the publishers for sponsoring this video that I can play the game for you. So there is a couple of things I need to tell you. Um, this is the original BAFTA nominated castle sim rebuilt using the source artwork, music, returning voice actors, and the original developers of the very first game in the series, Stronghold. DE introduces modernized gameplay, customizable community requested features, Steam multiplayer workshop support, and more. The game features two classic campaigns as well as new 14 mission narrative campaign designed by Firefly founders Cy Simon Bradbury and Eric Ouellette. This is alongside fresh multiplayer maps and a 10 mission castle trail, which features historical castles such as Warwick, Dunatar, and Marksburg. Stronghold Definitive Edition releases this year on November 7th. A new updated public demo is available right now, and it's free right now, right now during Steam Next Fest. So wishlist the game and start playing the demo today. There is a link in the description below, so you can check that out. Get ready to gather resources, construct mighty castles, protect your townsfolk, raise armies, and wage all-out war. Okay, so they wanted me to tell you that, and it's part of the... Thing. Yeah. Anyway, uh, so we're going to play, let's play uh, the first couple of them. The Hidden Lookout. A dispatch arrives from Sir Longarm. Hopefully, by the time you receive this message, all has gone well, and you'll put an end to those irritating wolves. I now ask a favor of you. Begin constructing an outpost on the edge of Duke de Pousse's territory in order to help me better judge the strength of the Red Fort. You must not, under any circumstances, send confirmation of your mission's completion to Lord Wolfsack. <laughs> Lord Wolfsack, what a name. The an only child in lands belonging to the de Pousse family. The Duke showed his mother favor, ensuring that she never paid taxes and always had enough to get by. One day, a messenger came by, and it was revealed that his father was the same Duke de Pousse who his mother had once worked for as a serving wench. Due to an unfortunate accident, the entire de Pousse family had been lost at sea whilst returning from holiday, leaving the rat as next in line to inherit the title of Duke. All right. So we need to find a suitable location on high ground near the lands belonging to Duke de Pousse and start construction of an outpost. The wooden keep will offer better protection than a simple hall. Take some cattle to breed as, as the land there suits them well. Do not show yourself to the enemy, but should you be discovered, let none escape to tell. The hills will give your archers an advantage when firing from height. So one of the things that I don't really... I don't know what version of this game I'm playing. It might be something different than the demo because I could not find a tutorial. And I did look at this tutorial and I read these things, but the game is a bit es esoteric. Like if you're a first time player of this game, um, I recommend watching or either maybe it's on the demo version of this game or in uh, watch YouTube. I had to watch YouTube to figure out different things. For example, like the favor like this whole book over here which is uh popularity gold and citizens and housing um but yeah we'll talk about those things as we go along here so the game is paused right now uh you can press p to pause i did change the rotation command for buildings there are certain buildings you want rotated which is i put as r uh but you can choose that as you like so um yeah this flag indicates where the enemies come from so if we unpause, we can click that and it says signpost. Okay, this is where your enemy is coming from. So we're going to place our castle keep and I'm just going to place it out here. That seems okay. Be right there. And a granary. I'm going to put the granary down by the farms. I'm just going to uh, put that there. And then I'm going to put in... Okay, stockpiles are free. So you can kind of put those as many as you need. Just a few here. And then we're going to get trees. We need a lot of lumber. So I'm just going to go ahead and put some woodcutters out Can't here. There, my lord. Uh huh. Thank you. Just kind of a few. All right. And we need wood. And then we can make some housing. Do we have enough to make houses? Actually, there's a. You can open this uh, thing here to, so you can see how many resources you are you have at any one time. 
Now, our granary is full of this meat that we've been given at the very beginning. We're going to have to really quickly start producing food, um, but we'll get that in a second. So what happens with the, um, the woodcutters? They chop trees, they drop them off at their hut, and then they work on it and then uh, chuck it into the stockpile. So it is very advantageous to... Um, have the woodcutters near the trees because you see he collected like three logs and then he starts sawing them and then once he finishes sawing them he makes one trip to drop them off at the stockpile so three trees three trips to the trees and one trip to the stockpile so very very much better to have your woodcutters near the trees than near the stockpile uh, we can probably put a mm, another woodcutter out here but at the moment, we just need more, um, need more housing for people. Okay, we can actually build... No, actually, we're, sh we're okay now. I do want to build another woodcutter maybe out here in the middle of the trees. Which is kind of okay because we can't build a farm in there anyway. Okay, uh, wood is, is existing. So let's start building a dairy farm. I'm just going to kind of align this with... Not with enough work the, the granary. Okay, so we definitely need more workers. So let's go ahead and build um, a hovel. So I'm going to put these kind of where they're out of the way. They don't have to be near town or anything. People don't really travel from their houses to anywhere. They just appear. So these are how many people by the campfire that we have as um, extra people that don't have jobs. Let's see... And this is the kind of game where my play style is definitely appreciated because I can overbuild all I like. <laughs> the one thing I would really wish for in this game is speed up time. I really want time to speed up. It's very, very slow. Okay, so the way the dairy farms work, and you can click this and find out about them. Um, it, it, basically, the dairy farmer will breed cattle until there are three, and then they milk them. Uh, to produce cheese. So they have to have three three cows in there in order to start producing cheese. Now if you click this button, this is a snooze button, it will make every one of them snooze, which I kind of would like a little bit more granularity there and like just be able to switch off individual buildings like Timberborn. That would be more handy. Um, but that's okay. We can uh, we can just we can adapt. It is fine. It's good. All right, we're going to build more cheese farms because we need to start generating money. And the way you generate money is you overfeed them and then you charge them taxes. But we'll go over that in a second because we don't quite have enough to start overcharging them. Uh, in fact, we don't have any uh, cheese at all. The meat is kind of running out here, so that's not ideal. We can click here and let's see. Where can we... Oh, we need to click on the granary to change the rations. Let's do... This is two months supply. Let's do half rations here for now. And our popularity is going to go down a bit. But uh, soon we're going to get this cheese. So we should be okay in a bit. But one other thing I definitely want to do is start building a Fletcher's workshop. A Fletcher is a person who makes uh, arrows and bows. Okay, we need more wood. More wood needed. More wood. More wood is needed. More wood. There we go. And then we'll also build an armory, which holds the um, the the bows and arrows, the weapons that are created. And then we can build a barracks as well to train our troops. All right, are we getting cheese yet? Almost, we're getting there, we're getting there. We have two cows there. No, are there three? There might be three, there are three. Okay, cheese time. Let's -a go, cheese time. All right, and get these going so we can start producing here. Not oh, enough nope. wood, my lord. not enough wood. Oh no, oh no. Okay, we are getting cheese now. So what I wanna do is I wanna change the rations to like, extra rations so we're at plus four and then we can change the tax rate to be like uh low taxes for now we want to get that uh popularity up a little bit and then as soon as we get more cheese coming in we're just going to spam the heck out of this 
Okay, so how much do we... We don't have any weapons yet. That's okay. We're going to get there. Um, so how are we doing on people? It looks like we probably need more people. But I would suggest to be quite frugal with your housing. Just add one house at a time. Um, and then let that build up. Because it does take time for your population to increase. But already we're getting a lot of... Um, okay. Oh. Already we're getting a lot of cheese. So this is looking good so far. And maybe I add another woodcutter over here. This is a big wood area. So yeah, now we're not going down on rations anymore. So let's go double rations. So that's plus eight. And we're at 91. So I feel like we could, we could do high taxes, even mean taxes. Let's do high taxes, 34 each each month here. Okay. Do we want another Fletcher? Maybe. Oh, gold needed. Whoops. Ah, whoops. That's fine, though. Alright, let's put some more farms. Because eventually we're going to have to, you know... Dude, stop walking over my building plans. That's one thing I don't understand. Like, if a person is walking, why can't you just plan a blueprint? You know, it's kind of like... It's kind of like, oh, we can't build a bridge here because a person walked past. <laughs> you know, it's like weird. <laughs> oh, we have... Oh, money go... Oh, do we have... How much do we have here? One month of supply. Let's go in down a little bit. Two months of supply. That's good. Let's let this... Um, Let's build up a tiny bit and then we'll go to double rations. All right, things are working. Very good, very good. And here is where our uh, troops will... What are your orders? Recruits needed, sire. Oh, recruits needed. Okay, that means we need... Uh, we need a house for sure. Another house. Uh, do I? Can I grab any guys? Nope. Help. Okay, I'm going to put anybody on top here. Okay, they are coming. You go up there, please. I forgot to hire troops, but it'll be fine. Don't worry. We'll just send them on top so they get a better vantage point to kill the enemies. There we go. Alright, they are getting murdered slightly. So this is good. This is very good. Okay, very good. Alright, I think we did it. I think we did it. Alright, so we definitely need more Fletchers as well to keep on building more bows. Let me look at our popularity here real quick and see how that's working. Okay, so plus four food. So I think we can try to go up to plus uh, eight double rations here. Um, we definitely need uh, maybe another house or so. Let's do one more house. I know we haven't filled the other houses yet, but that's okay. Um, we, we need more cheese farms, for sure. Uh, let's build them this way. Oh, I could build them... Um, let me just move a couple of these guys. Let's move this one. That's two woodcutter's huts. And then move them out here. Can't place that there, my lord. There we go. Okay. And then we can keep on making cheese. Granary stocks are very low, sire. 
Hmm. even put in a woodcutter out here as well. These trees. Okay, very nice. And are we at full? We're not quite at full uh, housing, but we still need another person here. Another house because we have three vacant and only, yeah, now we're at, now we're doing better. So we just added a whole bunch of farms. This is many, many, many farms. We are almost out of food, oh no, the cows have been struck by a strange melody. Oh boy, okay, okay. Let's go and uh, do just, let's do half rations and then let's change the tax rate down. Like no taxes, there we go. There we go, because look how all the cows died. Like literally every single cow died. That's not great. That is definitely not great. Alright, so now we are getting some cheese. There's people still carrying cheese. That's great. Just want to make sure that we get through this uh, pretty well. Now, one thing that we can do is build a castle, um, a castle wall or a, a wall for the castle. You can rotate these buildings, by the way. I'm going to go ahead and put this one here. And basically, we're just going to wall off this area. And I like this particular structure because it allows you to have a lot of... Um... All right, there we go. Can we do this? No. Why? 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 Oh, man. I think I built too close. That's not great. So let's go to the edge here. Can I build, can build here, maybe, but why, oh, maybe it goes further, okay, it's, it's a radius around this, obviously, okay, so we might need to delete these cow farms here. Let's go and hire some more archers. That's important. Let's put them over here. Put these guys also over on the gatehouse area. It looks kind of weird, but it is actually kind of trying to... Um, okay. Okay, that's really strange. That's okay, though. It'll, it'll be fine. Okay. So it's good to make this like a double wall if you possibly can. The rats troops are attacking. All right, let's go and look and see what we got going on here. So our folks are already shooting them. They're like, yo, what's happening? We didn't sign up for this. Okay, there we go. All right, so let's keep on building this wall. Um, I want to have like a double layer wall if we can. It does look like there's might be some, yeah, it's just a radius thing here, I think, with that. I had a, what, why is it not building? There we go. That's better. All right, good. Very good. Nice. Okay, so let's get out of this mode. And now we have so much cheese and stuff. It's pretty great. It is pretty great. We can keep on cheesing things. All 
Okay, that's pretty much all we can build as far as cheese down there. We can also start building some up here if we really wanted to. That is also possible. Like this. Now this mission doesn't have hunting, but some of them do. Very like um, uh, Caesar in the days of old. Okay, let's see. Let's get some more. Recruits needed. All right, well, let's build a couple more houses. And also we can... Um, we can build towers. Now those are going to help you defend your castle. Uh, so we'll build a couple over here. Can we rotate this? No, it kind of rotates on its own, I think. Um, but I also want to build some on this side. There we go. So that's what we got right now. We are losing a little money. Um, why is popularity going down? That's confusing. Oh, oh, we're still on the wrong food plan. Oh, no. Well, that's not good. Let's go down to extra rations. And then... All right, let's... We need... We definitely need taxes here. Let's go for average taxes. Um, we could give them a little bit more food, maybe. Yeah, we have tons of food. Let's go ahead and give them double rations. And then we can do, like, minus six taxes. That seems better, because every... Um, Every archer we hire costs us money as well, so that's kind of, you know. All right, let's put these folks over here in this area. So they can be shooting from both directions and further confuse the enemy. Aha, more are coming. So here you can also check the progress of the battle uh, plans here. And you see there, there's a bit more time until the very last battle. Okay. Alright, we just keep on adding troops as we can. Oops. Okay, so we have tons of food. This is pretty great. We can keep on adding more if we want to, though, just to make sure we have tons. There we go. I guess we might need... Okay, there we go. We're going to kill him dead. Look at this. Wow, they're just not even moving from the side of the map. Oh, those poor, poor soldiers. Not great. Definitely not great. All right, let's add a few more soldiers. Yep, and you can see information on every panel, basically. It's pretty cool. Let's add these folks over here. And you can see there's a quite a variety of weapons um, that you can have. And that's basically you can have all these different kinds of troops and more. It's pretty cool. And there's a variety of different kinds of food in the game. And in the next scenario, we'll get to a different kind there as well. Look at all these people. They're just walking and dropping off their cheese. <laughs> it's like a conveyor belt for cheese or something. <laughs> that's a bit wild. Maybe I should have built another granary. One problem with the granaries, or not a problem, I guess, you just have to be aware of it, is you have to connect them together. So you can't build a granary over here. See, it'll even tell you, which is nice. Oh, that works too. Okay, cool. We are doing well, though. We are really doing well with, with stuff. I don't... That I don't understand. Dwindling. They aren't actually dwindling. We have tons of food. And 10 months of supply at double rations, no less. So we have enough. We are really doing well here. Okay, we're getting to the end of the scenario. Let's see. Let's add these folks over here. And it's nice that they kind of like 
when you click a big group, they'll kind of spread out onto the platforms, which is nice, or the towers. Um, so here, yeah, we still have a, just a tiny bit of time until the last battle. Uh, well, not tiny bit. Ah, I still wish for faster speed. I don't know. I don't know. Let me just check. Maybe there is an option for fast speed. I don't think so, though. Zoom in. There's a pause. Oh, there is. Plus and minus. Nice. Let's go at game speed 90. I wish I'd known that earlier. <laughs> I guess I'm kind of used to like modern games where they have the speed control like visible on the screen somewhere. And I think that would be a good addition to the game, even if it isn't exactly like the original game. I think it would add to the game a bit. A small group of the rat soldiers are heading to the castle. Mm -hmm. Okay, looks like we don't need most of these folks. Um, could add another woodcutter up there, maybe. Also, I'm kind of used to pause, or being spacebar, but pause here is the... Actually, I should probably change that. I'll change that before the next mission, maybe. Because pause for me, it should always be spacebar, but... Yeah. Okay. Okay, dudes get deaded. There we go. Actually, we could change it right now. Let's see, options, hotkeys. I lo love that you can change it. That's quite nice. Okay, so we want to do... Oh, wait, hold on. Uh, pause. Spacebar. Okay, cancel. Close. Let's do flatten landscape. Tab. Apply. Close. Now we do pause. Spacebar, apply, close. Good, nice. I like that. Nice, okay, that, that works better for me. Tab is almost rarely, very rarely used in the games that I play, um, usually for map mode, and this sort of qualifies as a map mode in general. Okay, let's, we have 16 more, more guns. Wow, all of them, that's nice. Okay, so now I'm not used to the new hotkeys. Ah. Let's go up here and then people that don't fit will just put them elsewhere. Because it would be kind of nice to... Right, let's go down in game speed so I can uh, get these folks. You lazy guys, don't want you to be on the bottom. Oh. There we go. And you can add more towers if you wanted to as well. Yeah, it would be nice to have like a very specific speed thing. Like you, you wouldn't have to just, you know, spam plus and minus where you could just choose, you know, slow, medium, fast, that kind of thing. Aha! Is that the end? Looks like the end. Okay, we got everybody. We really massacred them in this one. Wow, we lost zero troops. Also, it didn't save my previous best score. That's weird. Maybe it's just, it's probably the demo thing, I think. So anyway, you get the uh, screen here telling you about the stuff and things, improved animations, textures, and lighting. And it's very obvious, like when you start the game, it's like, oh, there's like a slider that shows you. Also, these, these hands are not very obvious. I think they should like maybe have some highlighting or some drop shadow or something on them. Okay, so that is the very first mission. Let's go ahead and do dealing with the devil. Mm. So that was mission four, and this is mission eight. An urgent dispatch arrives from Salonga. Congratulations are in order for the way you handled that last mission. But we are about to face our greatest challenge yet. Leave immediately for the borders of our homelands, bringing with you a select band of your best men. All will be explained on your arrival. You ride your horses until they're near exhaustion, and finally meet with Sir Long Arm's messenger, who hands you your briefing. Okay. 
So, spies report that the rat is due to launch a do-or-die attack on our lands, and you must intercept and delay his forces. There is no time to raise an army, but Duke Beauregard, the snake, will send a large force to help us in return for a shipment of ale. Once the rat's siege force is defeated, Beauregard has agreed to let us take the rat's neighboring county without resistance. Grow hops and brew ale to send to the snake, but be warned, it will be hard to keep your people in line whilst meeting the terms of the deal. Use any means at your disposal, even cruelty if necessary. The rat's force must be defeated here. So we need to get ale 10 and eliminate all emony units. Emony, yes, like an emony. Right. Okay, so let's look at this map here and see. Let's see. I happen to know that on this map, you can only plant farms in this lower area. Now, this is this map is a little bit difficult to see, so I'm going to rotate it around. Basically, this lower, this green part is lower than all of the orange stuff around it. So you can see there's high cliffs on all sides here, um, and that is the only place you can place farms. So we have really limited farming, so we really can't overbuild. We need to make sure of our population that it's not um, kind of getting out of control. Let's see, let's go back down to slow speed, like 50. I don't remember what's the, but, and also another thing we need to do is put the granary near the stockpile or somewhere near here is okay. Oops, let's put it there. Dude, get out of the way. You can get out of the way too, dude. Shoo. Okay, good. And I'm gonna move our troops out here. Now we have, a new type of troop as well. Uh, I'll, I'll build that granary later. Okay, let's just pause for a second while I think. Um, and then we need trees. There are the trees. Okay, uh, so let's go and get woodcutters. One. Okay, we basically want to fill the world with woodcutters because that's how we need to do things. All right. Can't place that a there, message my lord. from the rat. You fool! You will soon pay for meddling in the okay. affairs of your superiors. Uh huh. Sure. Okay. So let's start by building some wheat farms. That's really important. Okay. Not enough workers available to run this building. Okay. We need to get housing now. Let's put the housing up here for now. And the wheat does take a while to to work out, but it's okay. We'll get it. And then we need a hops farm or or a few. Wait, is there one? Yep, there is a space there. There we go. We'll get a couple of these hops farms. The but, rats' troops are attacking. Okay. So what we want to do, let's pause. So we, we have a different unit here, which is a spearman. Now those are melee units. So we, what I like about this interface, you can just select those and say, ah, go down here. Uh, yep, go down here, please. There we go. And the archers will stay up there. So here's our, our units that we need to defeat. And so we'll keep these, actually we'll keep these guys over here. Kind of guarding our main path to the castle here. And the archers can get these folks when they come down. Now they're going to start killing our woodworkers. That's inconvenient, but that's okay. We'll, we'll have to deal. All right, so let's see about keeping on building some farms here. Oh, we can't because they're too close. Okay, it's fine. We'll get it. It'll be fine. Okay, these guys can actually go and engage these people because otherwise they're just going to be targets for the archers. Okay, there we go. We're killing them mostly. Mostly. Okay, so I'm going to send these guys up here. And hopefully we can get those deadified. But it also reminds us to build a Fletcher's Workshop, which we can't do yet. Okay, so there's a couple left. Alright, there they are. Okay, good. So that wasn't terrible, but we do need to have more, um, more, more people, more, um, more people. Let's build a couple of Fletcher's workshops and let's get the farms again too. We really need more farms. 
Oh, we can't though. Can't build farms yet. Wood needed. More really trying to squeeze needed. these farms in as close as possible. Uh, and the farms, they um, they have a whole chain of stuff that they need to do. We need a mill. Let's uh, look at that. Let's put this down here. Not mill. Wood, my lord. Oh, we need more wood. Okay. The mills seem to process a heck of a lot of grain. So we might wood only needed. need one. Not enough wood, my lord. Come on, folks. Give us wood. Please. Thank you. And then Not bakeries wood, uh, wood bake... We need a lot of bakeries to bake this amount of bread that we're going to need. That's weird that they don't just go through there. Huh. Alright. Alright, we might need more workers. Yeah, it looks like we need another house here. How are we doing on food? We have a little bit of uh, bread left from the initial kind of thing, but we should be able to get more stuff going on right now. We can also build another granary, which I like to have more than one of. And again, remember, they have to be connected, so, so it's wise to kind of have space or plan them out or just make sure that you have enough place to have them. Okay, we're going to keep on collecting hops, but we also need to... We can start actually putting in a brewery. Uh, let's do... We need three breweries. I think it's like one per hops field. Something like that. Alright, let's keep on getting some wheat fields in here. We are almost out of food, sire. Working on it. I think that's all we get, though. It's kind of really... This train is pretty rough here. So the other thing we can do is also make a stone quarry. Seems like there's only one area here that we can build this on. Oh no, there's a couple, actually. There's one here. I have had a change of heart. Due to the recent increase in army wages, I will need you to supply me with more ale. Still uh -huh. a fair trade, don't you think? Uh -huh. Wood needed. Okay, I'm not sure where this... There we go. Wood right needed. there. Wood needed. Oh, shoot. So basically, our friend increases his demand for ale, which we don't have a single barrel in stock. So we'll have to get that going better. Okay, let's also build... We also need to build an armory because I feel like our Fletchers are probably doing a lot of work for nothing. It's not great. There we go. That'll store stuff until we can get the barracks up and running. Let's put the barracks maybe... Your popularity is falling. Seems like there is good. Yeah, it's falling probably because we don't have much food. Oh my gosh, again? Ready? Let's see. But yeah, we'll need a lot of bakeries, like crazy amounts of bakeries. Um, Alright, let's go ahead and get a few more archers. Kind of stick them over there. The rats troops are All right, attacking. how much money do we have? We don't actually have very much. Uh, are we getting bread yet? Not yet. We really need these bakeries to function. Come on, guys. Come on, folks. Why? Okay, let's see. Do we have the ability to have more troops? Maybe. Right, let's slow this down a bit. Yeah, I know that already. Thanks. Thanks, folks. It's already fine. Let's go ahead and put them on top of this level here. 
and see if we can hire any more. All right, so that means we probably need more people. So let's add another house. And we'll start getting bread in now, which is great. Okay, looks like it's going pretty well. Now one thing we need to do for the stone though, is we need to build an ox uh, cart thing. Oops. All right, let's go. Let's see. We're still shooting our poor people. Here's this group of soldiers that is here. This is not great. I would love to have had some pikemen here, but I didn't build a pike making uh, building. So let's do that pull turner's workshop. Build a couple of those. All right, so now we have, we did have a lot of our people die. So that's not great. Um, one thing we can do over here is let's move them over there. And we do have a lot of wood. Oh, uh, let's get back to the stone thing, by the way. We need an, an ox tether to gather this stone and take it to the, um, uh, the, the stockpile. So um, what we can do is we can build a wall here. Let's just do this on this mode. And all you need is a single wall to be placing towers, right? So you can have a whole bunch of towers here and then just put our, hey boys, our folks up there. No and that gives them even greater range, which is nice. Nice. So, yeah, we are kind of, we need to build up our population again because they did kill quite a number of our people, which is not ideal. Let's see, our, our, we need AL 15 and we have 8. Okay. Another thing we can do is build choke points in this area of the valley if we want to. Um, depends how fast we get to this whole thing. We probably need to have some kind of taxes at this point, but we can also feed people at this point as well. Let's do double rations and then, so that's plus eight. Let's do high taxes. So that'll give us 42 gold per month, which is nice. All right. So, and our popularity is still increasing. Did that on purpose. Okay. Let's see if we can build a couple more of these guys. Recruits needed, oh no. Is there anybody? No. Okay, do we have any? We do have a lot of wheat, so we might want to build another wheat processing facility called a mill. There we go. Let's build one of these. And even more bakeries, because you see the, um, the amount of flour is still uh, going up. Okay, are they? Oh, that's inconvenient. Oh no, they're killing my woodcutters. Oh, don't do that, dude. Oh no. Wow. Okay. Okay, so right now they're way up high, which is pretty great. Okay, we do have a one. Actually, you know what? I'll, I'll keep him up there. Let's put him up on the tower. Granary stocks are very low size. All right, this is nice. Okay, there's a bunch of pikemen coming over here, which kind of makes me want to put these guys up here. So let's go get them over there. Can we hire anybody else? All right, so unfortunately, these guys are just killing everybody in my town, which is not ideal. So we really need to build this area up over here. 
They're just like killing all of our peasants, which is not great. Come on, dudes, move further so we can kill, kill you. Another thing maybe I should, I could have done is build a wall over here. That might also be very good. Okay, so let's go and see the choke points we have over here. Um, there is a possibility of having a thing over here. So let's get our castle gate. If we can put one down somewhere. Oh, okay. Eh, limited possibilities there. All right. Let's see. It's easier to do this when it's flat. Okay, that seems good. And then towers. A message from the rat. The world has gone crazy. I, 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 I should have destroyed you. Okay, can't do any more there. So what I'm going to do is take my troops, Archers all of them, and ready. put them over here. Leaving now. Okay, and then... This area is a little bit weird, right? This area kind of goes up into here um, and down here. So I think probably the best place is to just put in, um, well, if we put a tower here, it doesn't really work very well. Let's just put in a wall here. And just put in walls right there. And then of course, later we can get in um, stone once we have some gathered. Granary stocks are very low, sire. Okay, let's just do this. Okay, good. So, why are we not getting hard by the storms this season? I am afraid currently functioning, but we don't actually have any stuff. Oh no, more ale? Dude, you are greedy. You are a greedy dude. Um, we are working as fast as we can to produce that, so... Mm, that's what we got. Alright, I'm gonna... Alright, let's put these guys over here. Let's just make sure none of them are on the ground here. Oh, there is one on the ground. How did he end up there? That's so weird. I don't really like the, the pikemen or the spearmen that much because it feels like they get killed by the archers and they don't really do much damage. Let's see. Oh, they are very cheap though. Now we can press shift to higher five. Did we get all of them? Yeah, we did. And I like to put them kind of behind here, behind the walls. All right, so this should prevent us from like losing so much population like we did before. Um, what do we need? We need more bakeries, it looks like. Um, and then the quarry, for whatever reason, it's not really giving us any stone. Maybe it just takes a while to spin up or something. And let's see if we can build another quarry down here. Or maybe two. There we go. And then put in maybe another ox down here to serve those two. Uh, looks like we do need another house. Outlying villagers have seen a band of the rats' troops heading this way. Oh dear. Outlying villages. I'm glad you guys are on it. We needed, Instructions. Okay. That's quite a run. We are almost out food, sire. Okay, we have eight blocks of stone. That's quite nice. So can we build nope. We have this interesting thing of wall stairs. Um and then let's just put in stone walls here. Okay, and that's all the stone we got. That's it. And then we can also make uh, crenellations uh, with additional stone. 
Okay. I feel like we might have a little bit of an issue with the food. Let's do just extra rations. Let's go and get these guys over here. Oh no! How did they get through there? Dude! So somehow they got through this little area here, which is not great. Try to build more there. Okay, very good. Looks like there's a couple of guys that are not quite placed in the correct area. There we go. Yeah, because they're like standing on the ground instead. All right, so these guys... Oh, no. Oh, no. My boys, oh, I think I messed that up because I didn't realize they were Pullman. Ha <laughs> ha! Whoops! Ah, shoot. Okay, well, that's fine. It'll be fine. All right, let's see how those folks get placed. Are they good? Yeah, they're good now. That's good. Um, it looks like we can put two more here. There we go. So that really helped us out because it didn't kill half our population, which is kind of great. Okay, so, and then let's go back and see if we can hire more troops. Shift five. You can count on us. All right, folks. Come over here. Now. So you guys go there. Okay, we have plenty of bread now. I think having the rations a little bit lower is better. Let's just change the taxes a bit we don't get uh, out of control with the population being unhappy. Okay, yes. archers. Let's see. Let's put you over here. Moving off. And then we'll have a lot more firepower to deal with people. Okay, so how much is he demanding now? 20. We only have 13. Well, it's getting there. We are processing pretty quickly, so I think it should be fine. I feel like archers are super powerful in general. You're going there. So, let's see. We got more stone, which is great. Alright, let's make crenellations as well. We can do this many, which is nice. But now we need to do this side. So that's kind of a bit iffy. Um, hopefully we can get enough stone to make those crenellations. Oh wait, why is this? Uh, let's see if we delete this wall. There we go. And then can we put crenellations in front of that? No. Ah! No! Alright, let's delete this wall and make this stone. Okay, and then delete this stone wall. You don't look like you're on the right side of the wall, dude. My boy is yours. We are on our way. Alright. Uh, crenellations. There we go. We got a couple. We got a couple. Uh, and as it says, extra layer of protection for existing stone walls. So we'll try to keep on top of that and make more, hopefully, before the next set of troops arrives. Uh, let's see. Let's take five of you. Several of you. Okay, so... Put you guys here. And then you... Go here. Oh, we have eight more stone, which is great. Let's go and make more crenellations. Very important. Okay, very nice. All 
All right, we now have tons of food. Uh, okay, we have two more ale until we get to 20. I hope he doesn't raise it before then. That would be annoying. All right, let's go. Speed faster. Come on, 19, 20, get to 20. Oh, we can still get more bakeries. Um, we might be able to afford more. Aha, okay. Well, I hope so too. That would be great. So with extra bakeries, we can probably maybe support double rations, but I think we're okay. We have so much money. We have 2,300 money. It's pretty good. Okay, what is full? Granary? No, wait. What did he say was full? I have no idea. Oh, armory maybe is full. No? Yes? Oh, it is! The armory is full. Wow, okay. All right, folks, let's put these guys here. We go. And then let's let's slow down the game a bit here. All right, you guys. Instructions. You guys can go over here. Leaving now. Mhm. Mm Scouts report a large force of the rat's men are marching towards us. I can imagine. Here you go. Orders. Here. Moving off. There are lazy ones yes. at the bottom. We are on our way. The armory is full, my lord. Oh, they can actually go further up, Archers I think, right? Ready. Yeah, they can. My okay. Boy is yours. Leaving now. Me lord, moving off. Instructions. Yeah, We're go all the way up here, dudes. We go, go, go. The rats troops are attacking. Oh my god, it sounds like a machine gun. <laughs> That's great. Okay, so there are... There's a lot of arrows being shot. I don't know if anybody's being killed. Okay, a couple of people are. Ooh, they've set up tents. Okay, so these guys are trying to go in from the side here. Oh, they're vanquished. Never mind. They're deaded. It's fine. They have completely died. All right. We have mercilessly whipped their butts. And the rat. Uh huh. Right. <laughs> anyway, we did well. We lost a few troops, kind of mostly in the beginning of the level, um, but we succeeded. We did well. And uh, we, we won the scenario, so that's good. And there is another scenario within the, uh, the demo content, or at least within my content that I can play. Um, but we have run out of time for this episode. So I'm going to have to say, please wishlist this game and check it out, especially if you enjoyed the original Stronghold or if you're a strategy player and it's a new game for you. Uh, check it out uh, on Steam. It is there. It's coming out November 7th, as you see on the screen there. And uh, thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.